Welcome to the fourth section of videos, Enhance UI Skills with the GitHub Repo application. In this video, we'll set up and review a project created with the Ignite CLI. The objectives of this video are to install the Ignite CLI, we'll then discuss Ignite boilerplates, and we'll set up an Ignite project. Ignite is a CLI created by the company Infinite Red. This is a tool that contains boilerplates, plugins, generators, and more. Infinite Red provides multiple boilerplates for the application setup based on your preferences. There are also plugins, which are node packages that can be added to your project and configured. For example, there is a React Native Maps plugin that can be added and would be configured for maps to work in your application. Generators are commands that abstracts the setting up of files in your projects. We will take a more in-depth look into this later. The Ignite CLI documentation can be found here on GitHub. And on the main README page, we can see why someone would choose Ignite. Infinite Red points out that using this tool can save an average of two weeks on your development cycle. Something I want to point out is that using the boilerplates is flexible, but it provides a standard, and the boilerplate sets you up with an excellent directory structure that fosters best practices for organizing code. There are multiple boilerplates that can be utilized for setting up your application. As you can see, the majority of them are third-party boilerplates, such as native base boilerplate that includes the setup of native base screens and an expo version of Ignite. There are also several maintained by Infinite Red, and these are the default boilerplates. The two primary boilerplates offered by Infinite Red are Andros, which is referred to as the tried and true because it has been around for a while. And this utilizes React Navigation for navigation, Redux for state management, and Redux Saga as a middleware to simplify handling side effects in your application. The other is Bowser, which is Infinite Red's new boilerplate, which sets up TypeScript as the language to be developed in, utilizes React Navigation for navigation, and then uses MobX state tree for state management. This is the directory structure when you generate an application using the Android boilerplate. We will mostly focus on the content of the app structure, so within the app directory, you will see a containers directory which for the most part is where screens or parts of screens should be placed. The other directories are pretty self-explanatory, such as the component directory, which will be the home to any reusable component your application will use. Another obvious one is navigation. This is where the navigation components will be placed. The last directory I would like to mention is themes. Themes is where the application specific themes should be stored, such as base styles, fonts, metrics, and colors. You will notice that each directory has a readme that explains how the directory should be used. For more information about the Andros directory structure, you can go here and read about each section. In a Bowser application, you will use TypeScript, so you will see that the extension of these files is TS. This structure will be similar to the Andros, however, in the component directory, you will see that it comes with the, some standard components like button, and each component is a directory and it contains a story file, and optionally, a presets and props for larger components. In this boilerplate, the containers component is simply called screens, and instead of a Redux folder, there is a model folder which will contain the MobX state tree model. For more information about the Bowser directory structure, you can go here and read about each section. A concept in Ignite I would like to discuss are generators. A generator is utilized to create files for you and abstract some common tasks away from the developer, allowing them to focus on the real problems. If you are in Bowser, you can use the generate command to generate the following. A component, which generates a component and its supporting files in the storybook test. Model, which generates a model file in the model directory in the model test. Navigator, which generates a React Navigation Navigator. And Screen, which generates a screen in your screens directory. 
Some of these also work in Bowser. For example, generate screen and component. I generated a sample component to view the boilerplate code that Ignite provides for you. Now that we have laid the foundation for using Ignite, let's install it. In my terminal, I'm going to npm install dash g the Ignite CLI. And then once that's done, we can now set up our project. So I'm going to use the command ignite new timeline. Since we're going to work with plain JavaScript, I'm going to select the Bowser boilerplate. Ignite provides development screens to help you get started. But in our scenario, we will not need these, so we can say no here. And no to the following prompts for internalization, animatable, and Redux persist. Once you answer this prompt, Ignite will go through and finish setting up. And once it's done, you will see instructions on how to run your app.